the extraordinary super full moon happening in the sign of Capricorn at 29 degrees, which is the final degree, is going to be quite life changing. Let's just put it that way. And if you recall, we already had a full moon in the sign of Capricorn on June the 22nd, and that first full moon in Capricorn was at one degree. So we are basically completing a very intense, <laughs> very powerful cycle of transformation. And this second full moon is actually fully encouraging us to be very open to big changes in our lives and to fully embrace nurturing self-development. This Capricorn full moon is really going to push us into becoming the best versions of ourselves. And it's going to do that in several different ways. And the message that it's really giving us is to align, that it's really time to align to who we truly are as individuals, who we truly are as the collective, which is powerful spiritual beings who have the capacity and the capability to create an absolutely amazing life for ourselves. So let's get into all the details and let me break it down for you how this full moon is going to go, what the messages are that it's delivering for us, because it's really important. It's a very good guide to get to where you want to go and it really helps you to become that truly best version of yourself if you look at your life through the lens and through the perspective that this full moon is bringing. So this is a major catalyst energy with this full moon for transformation and growth. Or in other words, with awakening and aligning to your highest potential. So this full moon is like a cosmic checkpoint in our lives. It's, it's a, an opportunity for major course correction. As a matter of fact, it's actually pushing us to massively course correct. It's a pretty big wake up call to recommit to your life's goals and to your life's purpose, actually, to embrace more ambition, practicality and dedication to your long term goals. So this full moon is like asking us to look at the long game here. So this isn't about like short term gains or short term game. This is about long term vision, you know, what your future visions are. This is kind of like the time of the year when you think about it, like we're, we're almost done July, right? We're going to be stepping into Leo season or actually are stepping into Leo season like any minute now kind of thing. So this full moon is urging you to fully step into your power and into your authenticity. This is about self mastery and discipline. It's about taking responsibility for how you show up in the world and for making your dreams come true. Like you are the creator of your life, right? So it is only up to you to make your dreams come true. No one else can make your dreams come true for you. And because there's this like intensity with this full moon, like it's bringing about catharsis. So this is like a full on stop <laughs> with where you are and with the things that are not working in your life. And it, it's, it's like the universe literally grabbing you by the shoulders and shaking you up and saying, hey, like, what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you going down this path? Is this path even working for you? Are your choices even working for you? Are you choosing you or are you constantly putting other people's needs before your own? This is big energy. Like this is like a pretty big, pretty cathartic type of wake up call. But catharsis always offers like an opportunity to rebuild, right? So it's like, take a look at your life right now and ask yourself, where is my life falling apart right now? What areas of my life are falling apart right now? Because those are the areas of your life that you now have an opportunity to rebuild with the right energy and with the right actions. It's time to build structures that support your long term goals, that support you, you know, in different ways. So, what supports more love in your life, more stability, more groundedness, more fulfillment, more, more happiness? right? It's looking at that and, and looking about how you can build structures, uh, routines, make connections that are going to support those goals for you that are going to support you in staying in the flow in in creating that life that you really truly want to live. 
you know, so take a look at your life right now and ask yourself, like, what areas of my life need that? What areas of my life need more support, more love, more understanding, more compassion, more kindness, uh, more fulfillment, right? Fulfillment is a huge one, actually, with this full moon, because the full moon wants us to align to our authenticity. It wants us to be super connected to our knowing, like knowing what makes you happy, like genuinely happy, right? So as you're kind of like pondering these questions within yourself, just know that it's going to stand out to you because this has been longstanding. So there have been different things in your life. There has been an area of your life where for a long time now, things just haven't been working or you haven't been happy. And this could be love relationships. This could be your work, you know, what you do. This could be your health, how you take care of yourself how you feel in your own body, how you feel when you look in the mirror. Like, are you proud of what you see when you look in the mirror? Right? So it's like, you're going to know exactly what it is for you specifically. So don't, um, you don't need to like try and figure it out. Like it, you're just going to know, uh, but tune into that, which means that this full moon is offering you an opportunity to also look at your commitments. This is also about looking at your boundaries looking at who and what are you committed to and how is it holding you back? How are you not honoring your own truth? Are you staying in connections that are not truly in alignment with what you want, that are not truly in alignment with happiness, that, that are not truly, truly fulfilling? Because this is a great time to end those <laughs> with the Capricorn full moon. Like, no lie, this is a really, really good time to take bold action. This is like bold, daring action, doing things that are out of the norm for you, doing things that you wouldn't typically have the courage to do. This full moon is going to give you such a boost of courage, such a boost of like reality check where you're just going to have this like epiphany of like, you know what? Like, fuck it. I'm doing this. Why? Because it feels good to do it. Why? Because it feels in alignment with me to do it. You know what I mean? Like that's the kind of energy this full moon brings. And I want to talk here a little bit about the ego for a moment because I've been studying the ego in, in recent weeks. And what I've come to understand about the ego is that the ego is fully uh, the subconscious mind. Okay. It is built into the subconscious mind. And the way that the ego works is that you have to look at it like a recorder. Okay. Your subconscious mind, AKA your ego is recording every moment of every second of your life. Every experience, every feeling, every thought, everything. It's recording it, okay? And as it's taking all of this data in, it is categorizing it. It is categorizing it into a file of pain or discomfort and into a file of comfortable. And this is okay. So as your ego is sifting and sorting every experience, every thought, every feeling that you've ever had, what it's doing is it is formulating a comfort zone because what it starts to do is that it takes everything that it has recorded as painful or as uncomfortable and it puts it into like this bad file and it considers it to be bad it considers it to be something to be avoided and the reason why it does this because if you understand the mind which i've been studying the mind if you understand the mind the mind is literally built for survival Okay, so it has this autopilot program for survival, which means that your mind is actually not designed to <laughs> move you forward. It's not designed for growth. It is designed for survival. But the beauty of it is, is that we have control over the mind, right? We have this ability to reprogram our minds, to reprogram our subconscious. And the more that you practice doing uncomfortable things, the more that your ego is going to start pulling those uncomfortable things out of the bad file, and it's going to start putting them into the good file. These are okay. These things are uncomfortable with. These things I can do. Because the ego is always trying to self-preserve. It is always trying to keep you in survival mode. And in survival mode, it wants you to avoid everything and anything that is not comfortable. 
So I just wanted to kind of explain that so that you have an understanding of like why it's difficult to make certain changes in your life because this Capricorn full moon is so much about change. It is so much about embracing change and transformation and becoming this like new version of yourself. But you can't become a new version of yourself if you're still playing out that old version who is addicted to the comfort zone that you are living in. And the comfort zone that you are living in, now that you understand, the comfort zone is born of the ego construct of survival. But in truth and in reality, doing something that is different, that serves you in a positive way, isn't something that you need to survive, right? It isn't something that is bad for you. But unless you repeatedly do it, to the point where you get comfortable with it, you're going to continue to avoid doing that change and making that transformation. So are you living in alignment with your values and goals and your soul's truth? That is the question here. What does your heart value? What does your soul value? And are you doing the things on a daily basis? And are you thinking in a way, are you feeling in a way that is in alignment with your values? Because see, our actions are like the last thing. The primary thing is, is how we feel. How we feel is what drives and motivates our actions. So if you're constantly feeling afraid of things, then guess what? Your actions are going to be motivated by that fear and you're never going to take action on things that you're afraid of. So this full moon is about deep realizations. It's about recognizing what those things are that hold you back. What are those thoughts and those feelings that you continually perpetuate within yourself that are always holding you back from making a change, from transforming your, yourself? on the inside because if you keep having the same thoughts and the, the same feelings every day, you're not going to change. You're just going to loop in this sameness all the time. And is your life going to progress forward as you loop? No, of course not because you can't, <laughs> what is the definition of sanity doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. So this is about getting clarity about what needs to change in your life. What actions you need to take so that something can actually change. If you want to get healthier, are you eating better? Are you taking an action to start juicing or start doing different things that are better for your body? If you want to have a more fit body, are you working out? Are you exercising? If you want to have a different job, a better job, are you quitting the job that you dislike and doing what you're actually passionate about doing, even though it's scary, even though, you know, it's terrifying, or are you at least taking steps to move towards something new before you exit the other one? If you don't like the relationship that you're in, are you willing to take some form of action? to get out of that relationship? Are you willing to have a conversation with your partner or your spouse and let them know that you're not happy and let them know maybe that you want to leave or that you want a divorce? These things are not difficult. We just perceive them as difficult because your ego wants you to stay in survival mode. Your ego wants to stay, wants you to stay in your comfort zone. And if you are if your comfort zone is being in a relationship with somebody that you're used to, somebody that you've been in a relationship with forever and ever, even though you're not happy with them, then guess what? You're not going to make the change if you keep honoring your comfort zone. When it comes to relationships, I just want to share a personal example. I have been single for a long time and I've been single for a long time by choice. Initially, it wasn't really by choice. Like when I first went through my separation, it wasn't uh, by choice because then immediately I wanted to kind of 
not immediately, actually, it took me a couple of years before I was like ready to open myself back up. But then I started to pull myself out there again. And I started dating. And I realized something very profound when I was dating. I was so incredibly unhealed from that traumatic previous separation that I had from my daughter's father, that I was constantly attracting very similar or yeah, kind of like a lot of the same type of people, you know, it was like same shit, different face <laughs> kind of people into my life. And I wasn't able to connect with anyone outside of that because my comfort zone was basically to not be happy in a relationship. My comfort zone was not honoring my own needs, not honoring what was important for me. So I had to make a very clear executive decision to stop dating altogether and allow myself to actually move through a process of healing and transformation so that I can start attracting the right partner into my life. Was that uncomfortable? Yes, it was highly uncomfortable. Was it difficult to be alone for many years on end? Yes. Very. At times it was so incredibly hard because Loneliness was consuming me. But it was a process I still knew. I knew I trusted my intuition. I knew in my heart that it was something that I had to go through in order to come out the other side so that I can stop looping in connections and relationships and stop attracting partners that were not right for me. This is the kind of energy this Capricorn full moon has right now. This is like a no BS type of energy. It's like, are you willing to be uncomfortable? Are you willing to sit alone for a period of time if you have to, to understand who you actually are, to get to know yourself on a deep level so that you can know what is right for you and what is not and who is right for you and who is not. With this Capricorn full moon, there is also this completion of a cycle. For some of us, this is going to be a massive completion of a very difficult cycle. And if you have been doing the work of inner transformation, if you have been going through this process of becoming a better version of yourself, of becoming a more discerning, more authentic version of yourself, then this Capricorn full moon is like this finalization of this cycle of that difficulty. Because that means that you have learned lessons that you are not going to have to learn again. Because at this point, you have integrated these lessons. This is why we had two Cap full moons. The first one in uh, June on the 22nd, which was at first degree, which was basically showing us it was like this, this last final leg of that very difficult cycle. So if you're resonating with what I'm saying right now, then you are someone that has moved through this. And this last month basically was your final trial period. And you may have had uh, different things from your past or different people from your past pop back up as a test, of course. And there's uh, tests come in all kinds of different situations. For some people, it was, you know, issues with travel or, you know, we were all tested in very different ways to see how we were going to show up, to see how we were going to respond versus react to these tests. Uh, because the universe always wants to really, really make sure that you are fully done with a cycle. And that cycle is usually like a cycle of suffering. What causes suffering the most? Attachment, giving into your ego and staying in your comfort zone. That actually causes you the most suffering. It's not even external people. It's not even things. It's not even situations. It's not even your life and how you're experiencing it on a day-to-day -day level. That's not what causes true suffering. True suffering comes from your ego keeping you in your comfort zone, never allowing you to expand. That fear always being there, always in the, in the background, preventing you from taking the right steps, the right actions. That's what causes deep suffering the most. 
And then, of course, just to top off this awesomely already powerful Capricorn full moon, the North and the South Node are playing their part in it as well energetically. And they are actually guiding us towards our destiny. They are guiding us to have the willingness to do the inner work so that we can transform. So they are just amplifying this energy of transformation even more. They're just like, pushing each and every single one of us to get on the path of our destiny. Stop wasting time. Stop doing all the wrong things. Stop staying in the comfort zone that is preventing you from following the path of your destiny. Destiny and comfort zone, they don't go together at all. There is always sacrifices that need to be made in order for us to align with our destiny, in order for us to align with what is best for us. And oftentimes what is best for you is highly uncomfortable. <laughs> so it's like this full moon is asking you, are you willing to be highly uncomfortable so that you can have, be, do what is best for you to actually grow and become the best version of yourself. And of course, because everything in the universe is always divinely orchestrated, this full moon is also conjuncted by Pluto. Pluto, the planet of transformation, death, and rebirth. So with Pluto in the mix, it is bringing a message of allowing your old self to die so that a new, better version of yourself can emerge. And can you let this old version of yourself completely die so that a more powerful, intentional, conscious version and creator of your life can emerge? That's pretty big. It's like completely allowing the old version of you to go. And this, of course, is on a soul level. So this is like shedding parts of yourself that are just totally not in alignment with you anymore. And you're going to know it's so incredible. Like in my own spiritual growth, as I've moved through it, like there are so many things that I've outgrown and you become so conscious of what you have outgrown because you just don't align with it anymore. Like it just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel good anymore. You don't get the same benefit or the same kick or the same happiness or, or joy out of certain things, you know, that you've outgrown. And that's how you know that you've outgrown them. And even like beliefs and habits and patterns that you have like overcome within yourself, you're going to notice that you're just not repeating them. And like, that's always your, your best indication that you have grown spiritually, that your, your soul has evolved literally and has become a higher frequency because we only do low frequency things when we are in low frequency, when our soul is, is sort of puttering along at a certain level, at a certain frequency, at a, a certain emotional maturity, you know what I mean? And then once you past that threshold, once you break that threshold and that glass ceiling, and you start to become this like more mature version of yourself, you're going to notice you just don't align with things that you aligned with when you were a lot more immature. Pluto is also asking us to confront our shadows. So it's like the work never stops, right? As we all know, till the day you die. So just come into full acceptance of that, right? You never stop growing. And so Pluto is asking you to look at what shadow parts of you are now emerging that you now see more clearly? Like what bad habits do you have that you're just like, oh yeah, like I'm really aware of that, that I do that and I don't like it. What um, patterns are you repeating or like ways of thinking that you were, you're repeating? And for me, I noticed it was ways of thinking, like certain perceptions I was having about some stuff um, that, that I was just really like catching myself and noticing. I'm like, ooh, yeah, that's like super self-sabotage right there, right? So even like that, look at what, what your self-sabotaging patterns are. How do you always fuck yourself over? How do you always betray yourself, right? How are you always going against your own promises and not following through on them, right? That's what Pluto is asking you to really look at, become aware of it, right? And the shadow aspects are always aspects of yourself that are preventing you, holding you back from thriving. So in what ways, like what fear, what bad habits, 
Uh, how are you, you know, not being authentic uh, or distracting yourself from things instead of facing the truth about what you need to change? So it's like these are those shadow aspects that Pluto is kind of bringing in and uh, helping to bring awareness about. The moon is also squaring Jupiter, which is a little bit of extra intensity because <laughs> this means that all this change feels really uncomfortable, okay? Because it's forcing you to step outside of your comfort zone. It is like telling you like you have to step outside of your comfort zone if you want to change, if you want to transform to become someone different, right? So, and it's also asking you to take a leap of faith and taking a leap of faith, like into the unknown. Just think about that for a moment. Think about how much resistance your survival brain creates around that. It's literally imagine yourself right now on the edge of a cliff and you can't see the bottom. Like you literally can't even see the bottom. You don't know if it's water down there or land or rocks, jagged rocks. Like you have no idea. And the universe is asking you to jump. Do you see how naturally your ego would be like, your survival brain, your subconscious would be like, oh, hell no. <laughs> but this is what you have to overcome. This is the test. This is what the universe is asking you. Hey, can you just trust me? Can you trust me that I've got a safety net down there, even though you can't see it? So try to look at the unknown in this way so that you can get into more trust. Because when we have to take a leap of faith, what the universe is really asking us to do is to trust the universe. God is asking you to trust. Your creator is saying, hey, I have created everything that you have ever known to exist and everything that you will ever know to exist. I created you. Do you trust me? That is what God is asking. So this is actually building our spirituality. This is building our spiritual strength. It is building a deeper connection to God, to source, to creator. That's big. Huge. So you may experience some serious overwhelm <laughs> with taking that leap of faith. But trust your soul, trust your heart and your intuition. And if it is telling you to take it, then take it. Because something epic is going to be waiting on the other side of that leap of faith. And this overwhelm is also coming up right now for you because this transformation is happening on such a deep soul level that at times it can truly be breathtaking. I am the first one to raise my hand to say I've experienced that. As I evolved, as I went through my own transformation, it was so overwhelming at times that it almost felt unbearable. And those were the times that I had to really lean in. Sorry, I'm super emotional about this. I had to lean in to my own power, trust in myself, and trust in the divine. And remind myself that we are never given more than what we can handle. So remember that as you are moving through your own transformation. Because as you embrace 
the discomfort of this inner transformation, <laughs> this deeply uncomfortable inner transformation, and you keep persevering, this is going to bring you massive opportunities that will transform your external life as a result. Whatever you transform on the inside is going to show up on the outside. Micro, macro. So this full moon is going to shine a light on your beliefs, your belief systems, your negative thinking patterns, your self-sabotage, and to the point where you won't be able to hide from this. Like, you won't be able to run from it. You're going to have to face it because it's going to be in your face. Because the energy is bringing it up. It's bubbling it up from within you so that you can really, truly confront these things and really start to question whether they serve you or not, whether they're serving you positively or negatively. This is essentially shining a light on your self-honesty. It is asking you to be super real with yourself, super authentic, super honest with yourself about everything. So what do you need to let go of now to make room for something better in your life? And what do you need to cultivate, foster, and put more energy into so that it can blossom? For example, what kind of new habits do you need to cultivate and start doing so that it can build momentum? The universe loves momentum. What kind of new people do you need to connect with? that will pull you outside of the comfort zone of where you have been or the people that you have been surrounded by. People that you know that don't serve you or don't contribute positively to your life. What kind of new environments do you need to start exposing yourself to and removing yourself from environments that keep you stuck in your comfort zone? These are really deep questions. Like these are life altering questions. When you're honestly answering these, when you're honestly taking a look at these, you're going to realize that these are steps that, that you now have an opportunity to make and, and now have an awareness of that you can make that will truly change your life for the better. Because this Capricorn full moon is saying, you know, it's time to take responsibility for your life and for creating a life that you actually love, not just like a little bit, not just are comfortable with or okay with, but actually love that is happy and joyful and really fulfilling, like everyday fulfilling. And to help you figure that out, here are some questions that you can take some time over this weekend and reflect on at some point. In this life, in this life that you love, how do you live? What does your daily life look like? How do you serve? And how do you make a positive contribution to this world, no matter how small or how big? It's not about that. It's about, is it fulfilling you and simultaneously per serving a positive purpose? Who are you sharing this beautiful life with? And what do you guys do on a regular basis? How are you, how are you living with these people or this individual or even pets, if it's pets? What makes this life, this life that you love, exciting and adventurous? What makes it fulfilling? Get some clarity around this. Remember that your focus, your clarity is, is always pointing. It's pointing an arrow to something or to someone or to somewhere. So the more clarity that you have, the more crystal clear vision that you can create in your mind, the more you are pointing your focus and your attention towards it, meaning that you are calling it in, you are attracting it in. And then taking the right steps, of course, towards it will get you there even faster.
because this is about breaking through your limitations, breaking through the glass ceiling that's been hovering over your head your entire life. It's about allowing your old wounds to finally heal so that you stop living from those old wounding all the time and like, oh, poor me, I was hurt, I was hurt, and now I'm afraid to do anything in my life because I was hurt. Well, get over it. We were all hurt in some form or another, some of us more than others. How much longer do you want to spin in that in the past, right? In in past experiences. Every single day of your life is a new day, is a new start, is a fresh beginning, is a new opportunity for a new choice for how you want to show up, how you want to feel, how you want to think. So I think you need to ask yourself, when are you going to start loving yourself, if not now? When are you going to start doing what's best for you and not others? If not now. When are you going to start putting yourself first and putting your transformation, your inner transformation first before anything else? Because it is the most important thing that you'll ever do in your life because that's what actually creates change in your external world. When are you going to do that? If not now. Because believe me, as long as you are in the mentality of later, 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 all you're doing is delaying, delaying, delaying. And what are you delaying? Your happiness, your fulfillment, your joy, your prosperity, your abundance, your love, and all the amazing things that could come into your life. That's what you're delaying. By staying the old version of yourself. By staying who you have always been. A really great way to assess who you are is by looking at what is in your life. Has that changed recently? Because if things haven't changed in your external environment, your external environment is reflecting back to you what has changed within you. Now also keep in mind, sometimes the external environment, not sometimes, but by universal law, the external environment always takes a little bit of time to reflect back to you what you are on the inside and how you have changed. That change, like there's like a lag period. So that change shows up in a little bit of a delayed time. So primarily and most simply put, this full moon is just asking you to stay present, to stay aware of who you are being in every given moment. Are you being the past version of yourself, the old, hurt, wounded, scared version of yourself? Or are you becoming the new self? Are you embodying your new self? And a very, very good analogy that I have for you is that here's how you know whether you are embodying your old self or your new self. You can write a very simple, very short list, okay, of all of your habitual ways of being. And like your responses to life's challenges, okay? And then when you take that list and reflect, like, this is how I am when this happens, and this is how I get triggered, and blah, blah, blah. And your new version is the version of yourself that responds completely different, that looks completely different, feels completely different, thinks completely different. So to know whether you are your old or new self, just in any given moment, take a look at how you are showing up. Am I embodying my new self right now? New self would be confident, healthy, happy, powerful, authentic. Old self wears masks, people pleaser, does what others want them to do, afraid to hurt people's feelings, has bad habits, has no discipline etc, etc. Okay, so it's time to release any resistance that you have to change, to transformation, to life itself. Because when you refuse to change, and I've seen, my God, so many people I've known, I personally know people within my family even, who refuse to change. And I see how incredibly miserable they are because they refuse to change. 
and how nothing in their life is, is different. It's been the same old, same old for decades. And all they do is just perpetually complain about the same old, same old, instead of recognizing that they have the power to change it. So release the resistance within you. Be okay with discomfort so that you can become the strongest, wisest, most powerful, most authentic version of yourself, your true self, and start living your life from that version of yourself. So it's time to honor your values, your purpose, your authenticity, even when it's hard. And as a matter of fact, especially when it's hard and especially when it's uncomfortable. In that moment is when you bust through that glass ceiling, that invisible glass ceiling of your comfort zone is when you do those things that are most difficult, most challenging. Because once you've done it, you're like, wow, I did that. It wasn't so bad. So get real about what you want, about who you want to become and what you need to do to become that, to become that version of yourself who is not afraid to go after their heart's desire and is absolutely willing to do whatever it takes to become that version of yourself. And that's internally and externally. Do the internal work. Capricorn is about hard work. It is about doing work that is hard. And internal work will always by far outweigh <laughs> in difficulty compared to external work. Because this isn't just about material success and about external changes and external whatever. This is about that genuine, deep soul growth that needs to take place within you now to actually really move your life forward. And not just like a little bit, but like a lot. Because remember this, and this is something that I've genuinely discovered on my own soul's journey. That who I am, who I show up as vibrationally is so much more important than what I do. Because you are constantly manifesting your reality based on who you are, not based on what you do. And this is why hard work in the material world doesn't necessarily yield the results we want. And I think we have millions, if not billions of examples of this, that people that work their asses off all their life don't make very much progress because they're still stuck in the same limiting beliefs. They're still stuck in scarcity mindset and they're stuck in the belief that I have to work hard to make this much money. Not in today's world. And we have so many beautiful examples of people out in the world who are making millions, if not billions, effortlessly with doing little to no work. Why? Because they have mastered who they are on the inside. Because they no longer hold limiting beliefs that hold them back. They don't have scarcity mindset. They don't have confidence issues. They know their worth and they know what they deserve. Those are the people. This life favors the bold not the weak and not the meek. And that's the message of this Capricorn full moon. So just remember that when your ego gets triggered, and my God, will it get triggered once you start to press and push and start testing the limits of your comfort zone. Remember that it will try to pull you back into that comfort zone to keep you safe to keep you in that illusionary safe bubble where nothing happens and nothing changes. And that is when you have to push past the fear, push past the limitation, push past the belief that you can't have it or that you're not worthy of it. So this full moon is really going to 
pull forth. It's going to call forth your strength, your inner power, your inner knowing that you were born worthy and that the true purpose of life is joy, is happiness. So trust the signs, the synchronicities that you're getting. They are the compass pointing you towards your destiny, pointing you to what you're supposed to be focusing on and pointing you towards what needs to change. And these signs and synchronicities are going to show up for you in all kinds of different ways through number sequences repeating, through things that other people are saying, through this video, through signs, billboards, and especially through nature, because the natural world is what the divine mostly uses to guide you, to share wisdom with you. And the way that it does that through nature is different animals showing up. I'm like hyper aware when a certain insect or a certain animal repeatedly shows up for me or just shows up in a very peculiar, very different way, unusual way. So pay attention to those. This is why I always look up the meaning, the spiritual meaning behind every animal that crosses my path that is either repeatedly popping up or just kind of crossing my path in a very unusual way. I always look it up because each of those animals carry their own specific message based on the characteristics that they have. So for example, I want to use this as an example. I had flies, okay, just normal flies that were showing up last week. Yeah. But in like by the tens, like I'm talking like 30, 40 flies in like one day. And, and it was actually happening over two days. And I was just like, what the heck is going on? Like, where are they coming from? I have screens all over the house on every window. Like, I didn't understand where this was coming from. And then I got the, the, the message, of course, to, to look up the spiritual meaning of the fly. And when I looked it up, the fly actually symbolizes the ability and the energy of rapid change, of quick flight. When you think about how fast a fly can just take off suddenly, especially when you're trying to swat it, right? So it's like quick flight, very rapid uh, movement, rapid change, shift in direction, because that's another thing flies are known for. So when I had this like overwhelming number of flies, I immediately got the message once I looked it up and I knew exactly what it was and what it was pertaining to for me specifically, for my journey. So this is why I'm just sharing this to so that you understand, like, look things up. It's going to give you deeper insight. It's like God is constantly giving you information, giving you guidance. You just have to recognize it. You have to be able to pay attention to it. And as my final thoughts, I just want to say that this is an excellent time to start a detox. Full moons are always the best time. So it's like the day of and the day after full moons are the best time to begin a detoxifying uh, regimen because this is when the, the moon starts to go into decreasing phase and as, as it starts to uh, be less and less visible in the night sky, uh, parasites in the body actually tend to weaken. So they're actually strongest during full moon. So this is not a very good time to be loading up on junk food and sugar because the parasites in your body are also on like, um, almost like they're supercharged in a way during a full moon. So this is a really, really good time to start detoxing. I had my little uh, juice already, my beaten celery juice this morning on an empty stomach. So uh, a juicing detox is great. Run it for three weeks, have it like a good half an hour before you have every single meal. You can still eat during a juicing detox. Just make sure you're having, you know, those uh, beet, um, celery, ginger, lemon, 
uh, or, you know, you can look up a variety of different recipes online, but try that and then have them a uh, half an hour, 30 minutes before you're about to have your meal so that the juice can first run through your body. It kills parasites. It helps to um, reduce inflammation and repair the body. It also floods your body with nutrients. So this is a very good time to start that. Um, and then if you're having any like sugar cravings or anything like that right now, stick to fruit only, only have fruit, nothing else. No refined sugars, of course. It's a great time to cut out dairy and wheat as well. So this is a very good way to support your body, to support this transformation, to create these new habits, right? These new um, patterns in your life that are significantly healthier and better for you that help you to become a, a better, cleaner version of yourself. And I want to just leave you with a statement that you can repeat or like a mantra type of thing that you can repeat for yourself if you're struggling through the changes, because there are times when you're going to struggle as you transform and stretch beyond that comfort zone and become this brand new version of yourself. Here's an instant perception shift that I would like to leave you with to close this video. Don't look at your life and your transformation as I'm doing the best that I can. But instead, use this mantra and say out loud to yourself to remind yourself to embed it in your subconscious mind as a new belief. I'm doing what it takes to become the best version of myself that I can be. So I can live the best possible version of my life that has always been available to me. All I've ever had to do was choose it. And you can choose it now. Because at the end of the day, the real question is, what is it costing you to stay the same? If you made it all the way to the end, Thank you so much for watching all the way through. It means that you're truly committed to becoming a better version of yourself and to changing your life. And I'm really proud of you for that. Please hit a like on your way out. Support the channel. Support my work. Subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next video. Have an awesomely blessed and transformational full moon. Take care.